Hi, this is Tony the Counselor. Um, I just want to talk to you tonight about people who are suffering from major anxiety and how to get through it. This video is very quick. This video is very to the point because I don't like videos that last just such a long time or you have to go through these really thick books to try to find the answer. I just want you to memorize this word, Jaybird. It's an acronym that I came up with, okay? J, just thoughts. So that means that most of my anxiety is coming from up here. It's coming from my thoughts. And it has taken me a while to realize, but thoughts are not facts. Thoughts are just thoughts, okay? Emotions are not facts. Emotions are just emotions. And like clouds in the sky, they're gonna pass. They are just thoughts. The next thing in the Jaybird is A, and that means we want to acknowledge them, but we don't want to debate them, okay? So I was reading in this acceptance and commitment therapy book about this metaphor, about this uh, dude coming to a party, and nobody wants this dude at the party. This guy's obnoxious, he's kind of crazy, you know, he, he's just not cool, all right? But if he comes to my party, starts eating my shrimp, starts eating my pizza, I'm gonna take him up, throw it out of the party, right? But guess what? He's gonna come right back into the party. I'm gonna take him, I'm gonna throw him back out from my party because I'm upset, right? Well, guess what? He comes right back into my party. So what I wanna do is I wanna acknowledge him. I'm not gonna throw him out of the party, but I don't have to debate with him either. And I'm just gonna mingle with the other guests. And that's exactly what I want to do with my thoughts. I want to let them be in my head, but I'm still going to go on. I'm still just going to change the channel in my mind and talk to some of my other guests. I'm not going to debate my thoughts. You know, I'm not going to feel bad about having those thoughts. I'm just going to talk to my other guests, okay? Why for Jaybird, the why is your peace. What do I mean by your peace? I mean this, is that we have to go into the moment. And we go into the moment by, you know, looking out in the world and seeing three things that are in the world right now. Because right now I see a beautiful tree right outside. I see a gorgeous sky right outside. Behind me I see that painting with all those colors. Three things that I feel. Right now I feel my shirt on my body. I feel my hat on my head. I feel the weight of my feet on the ground okay that is the why that is your peace it's going into your senses what do you smell what do you taste you know what do you feel what do you see and just keep going around and around going into the moment b and the jaybird is brief what do i mean by that it means time okay no matter how bad something is, it's going to pass. Even if you have a horrendous headache and you don't have any Tylenol, you don't have any aspirin, but if you go on with your day, eventually that headache will go away. It might not be that day, but eventually that headache will go away without you even doing anything. The same with anxiety. It has a curve, you know, it gets really, really bad. And it's like, oh my gosh, this is never gonna end. But then it, it starts getting better and then it does end and then it goes away. Now I might come back again, but everything has a curve and that's what's going on with that stuff, all right? So it's brief, okay, it's brief. Everything has a beginning, middle, and end. I in the Jaybird means immerse yourself into what you are doing, okay? So that means that we are not gonna stop our life. If you're out walking with your friends, walk with your friends. If you're watching a movie, keep watching the movie. If you're doing work, keep doing your work. We're not gonna let anxiety completely take us out of the game. Now, I'm not saying that you can't just go off somewhere, do some deep breathing or things of that nature if you're having a panic attack, that's different. But we're not gonna let negative thoughts and generalized anxiety stop our life. Okay. R in the Jaybird means respect yourself. What do I mean by that? Well, it's simple. 
okay? It means that you can be nice to yourself. You're not gonna kick yourself while you're down. You're not gonna beat yourself up. You're not gonna give yourself ang anxiety for being anxious. You're not gonna be angry for being depressed. You're gonna be your best friend, okay? The first relationship we ever have is the relationship we have with ourselves. That's the first relationship that we ever have. And that's what's so important. You wanna give yourself self-love. If you're doing these techniques and they don't work, you're not gonna beat yourself up. It takes time, it's a process. All right, you're gonna be your own best friend. You're gonna say, I love myself. I love myself for even watching this video. I love myself for even just trying. It takes time. Give yourself some props. Look at the good things you're doing. And then finally, D, which is the most important, okay? But that is develop self-care. And what that means is the essentials. Are you sleeping? Are you eating well? And you're getting your exercise. If those three things begin to suffer, just one of them, you're gonna start getting off track. Let's say you're so anxious you can't eat. You know, just try to eat something. Try to eat something healthy, eat some vegetables. If you're so anxious, you're eating too much. All right, try to cut back, try to drink more water. Again, try to eat more fruits and vegetables, get your proteins, get your carbs. You know, drink fresh water instead of coffee. Or instead of like 10 cups of coffee, do eight cups of coffee and like two cups of water. You'll start feeling better. Essentials are huge. We don't even know how badly food and what we drink can affect how we feel how just one bad night of sleep can affect how we feel, let alone one bad night after another bad night after another bad night, you're gonna start feeling really bad. If we go without enough sleep, then psychosis can start coming in. Depression and anxiety is going to be amplified exponentially. So yeah, that's all I gotta say right now. If you like the video, you know, subscribe if you want. If you don't, then don't. You know, I'll be making a lot of videos, but I am here to help you and help myself because I suffer anxiety and depression. That's why I do this job. That's why I do these videos. So I hope you like it. This is old man Tony, the therapist saying, talk to you later. Bye-bye.